Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Aussie Lawn. And if you're only new to the channel, you've probably missed this lawn, but we have actually been here before. Now this is the Buffalo Lawn that was, um, well it hasn't had a lot of maintenance in the past and I was waiting for spring to come around so I could actually hook in and get this uh, looking much better than what it was. So what we've got today, you would have saw me load, load up a bit of gear. So we've got that scalping Victor there, that one you saw in last week's episode. You've got the new Honda there and if things get really bad we've got the um scarifier but i'm trying to avoid using that because i think that will become just too aggressive now if you're only new this lawn does need a bit of help so we're going to uh, do a renovation on this buffalo this is this is probably one of those lawns that hasn't been touched since it was laid so it's a great example of a uh you know what you can do once things get out of hand especially with with buffalo so we'll scalp it right down uh, i've got some Hydrolink Advanced wetter soil to put on afterwards, and I've got some two spec accelerate from uh, lawn tips from Ben Sims to apply to get this thing kicking on again. So you can see what we're dealing with here. Like there's a lot of thatch upon thatch. So when I actually rub my hand on the lawn here, uh, large areas of it sort of are caught up in that, and it's just not not good. I mean, I don't think I can scarify it because even just doing this, it's not leaving much behind. But that's only going to be in places. Keep thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends, no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget.
Right, so what's been happening here? So I've dropped that, that Victor mower down to its um, third lowest setting, and I think that's gonna be low enough for this lawn in this situation. Now, um, we're sort of down probably, we're probably well under an inch. So I think that's a good start for this, because this is gonna really, this is gonna be really shocked, I reckon. This is, it's really not gonna know what's hit it, but it'll come back really well. Now, the reason we've done with the two mowers, you're probably sitting at home going, you've got this whiz bang Honda mower here, but yet he's still using the old, the old Victor. Two reasons, number one, I don't know what's under this surface here. It's not my yard, so I don't know what's lurking under the surface, big rocks and stuff like that. So the last thing I wanna do is punish a brand new mower in unknown conditions. And second of all, that's a really lightweight, powerful mower that cuts through this stuff really well. And it gives me a clearer idea of, of where we're heading. Then I just come along and clean up with this one. So that's what we've been doing there. Um, so what we're gonna do now is just gonna hook in, get the rest of it done, and um, I'll give you a look up close to see what this is, uh, what this is looking like. Keep thinking that I could have done something but now i'm left with an empty heart no making amends no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all Speak of the truth when it's tainted I fell into a big black hole Right, well, that was a fair bit of an ordeal to be honest with you. Um, we got, just took that, that grass to the dump and there's 160 kilos according to the weigh scales at the dump and uh, can't really see it but broken window on the car. There was obviously a wayward rock so move your car off the driveway when you're doing this sort of thing because um, now I've got to replace a rear window. Rear window. Um, anyway, look, this is probably as hard as what you'd want to go. So long story short, we went over it with that Victor really short. Uh, we picked up the bulk of it with the Honda mower and then for a final run over, I went over it on the lower setting with the Honda. So the, the whole yard has now been scalped down to 16 millimeters. And to be quite honest, that's about as low as you'd want to go on an untrained Buffalo lawn or a neglected uh, buffalo lawn such as this one. Now you'll notice here that there's still a lot of runners and stuff so that's what we're aiming to see. Um, these runners will in the you know in the coming weeks start producing new shoots and leaves and stuff like that and they will that will cover over. Now this is going to be a slow recovery because you know this is this has been a huge huge shock for this lawn um, but what we're going to do now is we'll just have a look at a section down near the street uh, and now it's a section that uh, I'd say it when it was turfed, I would say that it was turfed very poorly. So there will be a section down there that has no coverage. So it's going to take a while. We're going to need runners to actually cover into those areas. So that was, I'll show you what you don't want to see on your entire lawn. So as I was saying, so this area here, this is not going to recover. There's nothing there. Remember with Buffalo, uh, it, it's a surface, it's a, it's a surface running grass only. So it only has stolons, which are obviously these ones here. So when we look at this section through here, there's nothing there. So basically we're gonna to have to wait for all these runners to work their way across. But we're in the growing season now, so that will come, that will come, uh, they will come through, no worries. And come next year, this won't be an issue. This will this will be this will be educated now. So the runners will run in and it'll be, it won't be a problem next time around. And you can see also it runs up the side there and also straight down, straight down here as well. So anyway, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get some fertilizer on this. So I've got some uh, two-spec, I think it's two-spec Accelerate, and it's um, it's a great renovation mix. I got that through uh, Lawn Tips, so Ben Ben at Lawn Tips. So if you want any of that, that's uh, where I got mine from. So we're gonna throw that out on this area now. I was gonna put down some HydroLink Advance, but we have got a bit of a breeze here now, so it's sort of gonna be a situation of, it's probably not gonna be an ideal time to be spraying, because it's gonna blow everywhere. So. Might have to save that for another day. So either way, that's not in, that's that's not a big deal. Uno, dos,
Right, guys. Well, that's about uh, as complicated as a uh, buffalo renovation does get. Uh, as I said, if this breeze hadn't picked up, we would have put down some uh, some of that Hydrolink Advance uh, just to help the uh, water absorb into the soil better. But I'll come back and do that in a week's time or something like that. Um, what's important now is we've got that fertilizer down, so we're going to put the sprinkler on and give that a good drink in, and we should start to see a nice green tinge in the next probably seven days or so, and then it'll only improve from there on in. Anyway, guys, look, it's been a hot one here today. Summer is definitely around the corner. This perfect spring day. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you next time here on the Aussie Lawn.